Good afternoon. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the transition from uh, demographic dividend to uh, reform dividend. Uh, you know, uh, the economic growth in China has been accompanied by equally impressive uh, demographic transition. Currently, uh, fertility rate is uh, only 1.4. Uh, China is among the, low, the country with the lowest uh, fertility rate that is uh, generating the uh, little emperor and or uh, little empress. So this is a, a, a you know the result of one child policy and uh, economic growth and uh, social development, uh, which bring about uh, the demographic dividend, the massive migration from rural to urban sectors generates. Uh, you know, supply, labor supply, and uh, resource re reallocation efficiency, uh, and uh, productivity increase. Uh, but uh, there has been wide uh, labor shortage since 2004. And also in 2010, uh, the working age population declined. Uh, so therefore, we should say the demographic dividend is disappearing. And uh, the Chinese uh, uh, demographic transition can be expressed as uh, uh, growing old before getting rich, which uh, poses uh, greater challenges to China in economic growth and uh, social development. Uh, one of the uh, examples is uh, even though there is a widespread labor shortage, but the older workers are not needed because they are extremely poorly educated. They cannot meet the, uh, the demand for their skills. So therefore, as a result, uh, you know, the labor shortage, uh, the less room for uh, productivity improvement, and uh, less advantage of backwardness, uh, the Chinese uh, fast moving train is tending to slow down. Uh, our estimates uh, shows uh, the potential growth rate in China is uh, slowing down from 10% in the past 15 years to 7.6% in the current five-year plan period and uh, further decline to uh, only 6% in the next five years. Uh, Japan can be a lesson for us. You know, in 1990, Japan lose, lost its demographic dividend and uh, followed by more than 20 years of stagnation. But Japan is still a high income country. If China uh, uh, cannot uh, rightly uh, tackle the issue, uh, China will be stuck in middle income trap. So, uh, so we have to uh, uh, translate from a demographic dividend to reform dividend. Uh, this is a one example that is uh, the new round of urbanization can put people in the center, uh, transforming uh, migrants into the local uh, urban residents, uh, but not to build a uh, ghost city or uh, to expand the urban areas, but to uh, supply more laborers and uh, uh, gain more uh, productivity through reallocating the uh, uh, resources. So the hukou reform is a, a reform of uh, killing three birds, one more bird than you are, <laughs> uh, with one stone. That is the labor supply, reallocation of resources, and uh, consumption demand. And also, uh, the leadership proposed uh, a relaxation of family planning, uh, allowing more couples to have a second child. Uh, that will also uh, generate some effect on the economic growth. Some people would say China is going to hit a war. But whether or not uh, that prophecy uh, comes true, 
depend on the success of economic reform. So we need the transition from a demographic dividend to reform them. Thank you.